Darrell, we'll start with you. Welcome to Brisbane. How's it been since you since you've been here? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a whirlwind. Um, it all happened really quick, but um, settling in well. The boys are really good. Uh, living with this man, so he showed me the ropes of Brisbane. But um, yeah, no, loving it so far. What was the first thing he showed you? Uh, well, he just moved into his new place, so I feel bad just moving <coughs> in with him. He's just having to move in with his girlfriend, so I feel bad taking up the spare room already. But um, showing me that, went for a bit of lunch, showing me the local cafe, so good coffee up here too, so that helps. That's, that's big coming from Melbourne. Huge, yeah. That's good. Yeah, massive, massive. <laughs> what about the heat training? Uh, today was probably the hottest day of them all, um, so it's been pretty good so far, but oh, it's hot for everyone, so. Could just get used to it. just screen up, extra layer of sunscreen. Give us a bit of a background. You guys are from different ends of Ireland? Yeah, so I'm from up north in uh, Tyrone and Dars down south in uh, Kilkenny, so about three and a half hours apart. So we met in Melbourne when we both moved over here to play for Essen and Kilda and probably seven years ago now. Mm. So sort of been friends ever since and never thought we'd probably play at the same club, but <laughs> it's good to happen. Yeah. Added. How did you sort of feel when you found out you would be at the same club? Yeah, obviously it's good to have someone you have a connection with. I suppose I had Joey and James Madden already, already before I came, so to have someone just sort of be in the same thing together, it definitely helps. We were just saying before that St Patrick's Day is three days before round one, so probably won't be the celebration we were all hoping for. No, nah, I'm going to have to delay by a few days, but we'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your expectations? I know it's just happened and it's happened quite quickly. Yeah. What, what have... What have the club said to you? What are your expectations coming into this season? Sort of coming as that um, yeah, look, my expectations of staying down for a year and because I first wanted to stay down and play VFL and get this opportunity because um, I wanted to play AFL footy. So that's my expectations of myself is I want to play more AFL footy game time. Um, the club have said that. They just said, go for it. Um, there's an opportunity there. So just go and take it. It's up to me now in the training park to, to show that. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. You bring attributes that, that they probably need in defence, um, a bit of speed for someone your size too, which is, you know, which is great. Yep, oh, thank you. <laughs> Not as fast as this man, but um, yeah, I'm kind of, my strength is versatility, so uh, hopefully I can show that, play on tall, small, and um, use my speed going in offence as well, so hopefully I get to show that. Connie, you're probably a bit the same, you, you bring that speed and rebound with half-back, is that what you're hoping to bring? Yeah, I'd say so. That's obviously where I finished up my career a couple of years ago. So that's the aim, just get back playing the field. I've been off it for two years now, so I just get back into the swing of things and hopefully put my hand up for round one. That's the goal. That's, that's your first goal, break into the team round one and see how it goes? Yeah, obviously everyone wants to play AFL, so obviously I want to break into the team. If not, just put pressure on the other half-backs that they're performing every week, and if, it, if I don't get in, it still helps the team. You've been at home for the last couple of years. Have you always been keeping an eye on the AFL? And was it always your plan, dream, hopes to come back? Hey, probably for the first six months, no. I was sort of happy at home, to be honest, and playing Gaelic football again. I was lucky enough to win all Ireland back home, which is the equivalent to the Premiership. So after I won that, it sort of really made it easy for me to probably decide to come back. And talking to a few people from here, I sort of got the ball rolling. And 12 months later, I sort of got the contract. So not. Originally going home, but after about six months, yeah, I was sort of I had in the back of my head I'll go back at some stage. And so you both, <coughs> why, why Brisbane? I mean, well, out of the clubs I was sort of talking to, they're probably the, the club closest to going to win the Premiership, and that's that's my goal now. I, I played for Eston for six years, I've played AFL, but I want to be competing deep in the finals, and that's <coughs> what they're striving towards here, so that's why I got in the back of them. Yeah, and Brisbane have kind of been keeping tabs on me for the last couple of years and they kind of put a bit of work in behind the scenes and then when the offer came and the phone call came, I just jumped at the opportunity and then it helped that the two Irish boys are up here, so a little bit of connection to settle in, but um, yeah, all in all, just a, a brilliant club and great culture and all you hear is good things about the club. How do you find playing, playing Gaelic before recently? Do you come back and you're bouncing more often than you need to in AFL? Are you kicking the ball up yourself? Do you have to stop those happening? But I always probably bounce the ball after four steps anyway, so uh, not really. I've sort of come back and didn't enjoyed getting back to, to playing the game, to be honest. I probably missed it for the last 12 months, so just probably the professional environment and training during the day and having the weekends off and evens off, it definitely it makes a difference. How do you adjust to the physical difference? Is, say, AFL's a step up in <clears> Probably, well, in ways, but not a massive pile, to be honest, anymore. Fitness, I actually struggled a lot going home to play Gillick with fitness-wise. It never really stopped, so... It's sort of been similar enough, just probably the heat's the, the main thing that sort of takes steady over here. 
Um, Brisbane made a prelim last year and they've recruited really well. You sort of have a little midfield and everything else that they've got, young Will, yourselves coming in. I mean, when you sort of, when you when you see the team that they, they built even on top of last year, you sort of go, hang on, we are a real shock at, at that trophy, at that, at that key ring coming through? Uh, yeah, obviously, like, I was out of the AFL system, but I was obviously keeping tabs on all the news and that. And, uh, yeah, the trade period was obviously really exciting for them. And it's just nice to be out on the field with these blokes and getting to know them. Um, Sometimes some of these names that you have up on a pedestal and then you meet them and they're just so down to earth and great guys and you go for a coffee with them any time and have a chat. So um, that's really humbling and nice to see. So um, yeah, it's just nice to be a part of it. It's a formidable team there to assemble, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Obviously, having that sort of trade period, getting, as you say, Will as a, uh, a low draft pick and then Josh and Gunston coming in as well, definitely it adds to the value of it and just change a few things and hopefully it'll just keep improving.